what the Southport Rotary Club is planning and how it benefits a number of charities. And later, what high school students in the Cape Fear are doing to help families in Haiti. Thank you, Helen. The Southport Rotary Club is planning a big event this weekend featuring dozens of the top dining restaurants and beverage providers in Brunswick County and for a great cause. And here to tell us more are Southport Rotarians Josh Whitaker and actually Mike Youngdahl and Sean Braswell. We had a slight change at yes. the last minute. Okay, so good to have you both here with us. Thank so you. as I understand it, there are multiple rotary groups in Brunswick County, right? There are five different rotary groups, Southport, Southport Evening Club, Shalote, uh, Leland Club, and the South Brunswick Isles Club. Yes. All right, so how did you come up with the idea of Chefs of Brunswick? That was, the, the genesis of that was the Epicurean evening in Wilmington on August 29th, and one of our Rotarians was there last year and felt that this would be a wonderful project to promote the restaurants in South Brunswick, and uh, it's coming around very well. We're very pleased with our results so far and who will have it as uh, our restaurants. And the Chefs of Brunswick 2020 will be taking place this Saturday, That's and it correct. features almost two dozen uh, top dining uh, establishments in Brunswick County, right? Yes, that is correct. And a number of beverage providers as well. So tell me a little bit about some of the folks who are taking part. Well, some of those in the Southport area specifically are Oliver's. Uh, uh, we're having also Ports of Call. Shaggers Jack is in Oak Island. Um, uh, Cape Fear Seafood Company in Leland here. We have uh, the Purple Onion in uh, Shalot. Uh, Turtle Island on Oak Island. Um, Bernie's uh, Bakery in, uh, South, in Southport. Um, one of them, some of the other There's ones. There's Street Oyster Bar. O Oyster, yes, Moore Street Oyster Bar. And so we have a, a number of different varieties of food that we'll be having at this event. And as I understand it right now, you've sold, what, 850 tickets? 850, yes. But it's not too late to get more tickets, right? No. They can go, if you look on the website, there's a phone number and an email address. And they call and we'll do credit card payments over the phone and the tickets will be at a will call counter. So I am very honored to be holding in my hands right now. This is the trophy that will be given to one of the chefs or the beverage providers, I guess, Saturday night. And how do they go about getting this? What has to happen? That goes to the vendor that collects the most tokens. So you'll, with your ticket, you will be able to go around and sample food from all the various establishments and so forth. Yes, each ticket uh, allows you to have five different, to five tokens. Okay. And, and then you can buy additional tokens. At the end of the night, the, uh, the, the vendor with the most tokens wins this coveted award right here, right up <laughs> to the Super Bowl lights. trophy. And I'm honored to be holding <laughs> it this morning. Yes, you should be. But perhaps <laughs> the most important thing is that the money that is raised from this will benefit a lot of charities in Brunswick County. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, some of these are Boys and Girls Home, uh, the HOPE Project, uh, the yes. Brunswick County STEM Project uh, with the robotic program that we uh, sponsor. Um, several of the county schools, um, they, they get benefit from that because yes. we provide tools to help. All right, so we want to give you the information one more time. It's taking place this Saturday. It's the Chefs of Brunswick 2020 from 5.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. There are 800 tickets, 850 tickets that have already been sold, so there are only 150 more to go. Uh, the location is 101 Stone Chimney Place and Supply, and if you would like to get tickets, you can call Sean at 910-687-4556. Tickets are all av also available online, right? Well, they can't purchase them online, but okay. there's an email address, and I'll call them back. Okay. They'll send me their number. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing. We appreciate it. Thanks for coming in to tell us about this. Thank you thank for you. your time. If you have a community event or a nonprofit, that you want to share with our viewers, we want to know about it. Email newsroom at WWIT.